seaweed gravy, tomatoes and stones, curling gravy, 80 k resolution picture engraving, and most importantly, an incredibly fast speed up to 15,000 millimeters per second. This GWIC G2 laser engraver finishes your engravings in an unexpectedly fascinating way. With the 20 watts fiber laser power, the GWIC G2 laser engraver is undoubtedly the best priced laser engraver I've ever seen. I've been using this machine for about a week, testing every aspect of it. In this video, I'll provide you with my comprehensive review. Covering the pros and cons, now without further ado, let's get started. Upon opening the box, you'll notice that all the G2 parts are securely packed in thick foam. If you are curious about the specifics, you can refer to this list. Due to the powerful 20 watts fiber laser, the laser source and main engine are separated and connected through a tube. Notably, there are four fans on the laser source module for optimal heat dissipation. I appreciate that even at such a budget-friendly price, the GWIC G2 includes abundant accessories that allow you to conveniently handle various tasks without having to purchase them separately, as is often the case with other brands. Among the optional accessories are a safety shield, designed to prevent laser radiation from harming your eyes, and two rotary extensions for engraving cylindrical objects. With this, with its large cup or a small ring, you can engrave with ease. I'll delve into these accessories in more detail in just a few moments. Similar to many other laser engravers, the initial step involves spending a few minutes on assembly. Begin by attaching the lifting stand on the workbench and securing with the screws provided in the box. Next, affix the L-shaped connecting plate to the lifting stand. And finally, install and secure the main engine onto the plate. For added stability, you can place two support brackets on the laser source. That covers the assembly process, which shouldn't take more than five minutes. With that complete, it's time to put the machine to use. Take a look at all the ports on the G2. Start by connecting the main engine to the laser source module, then connect the power cable. Link the lifting stand to the laser source and remove the lens cap from the main engine. At this point, you can choose to install the protective shield. It's always recommended when engraving. But for the purposes of this video and to provide the best viewing experience, we'll be engraving without the shield, although this is not recommended. Finally, rotate the emergency button and press the power button to turn on the machine. Now, you're ready to go. Before we move on, I'd like to spend some time discussing the software. I understand this part might be a bit mundane. To be honest, after years of testing various laser engraving software, I've noticed they often share a striking resemblance. Similar interfaces and parameters just under different brand names. If you find this aspect less interesting, feel free to skip ahead to the section showcasing the engraving performance, which I believe is more entertaining. One of the great features that I really like is that GWIC G2 supports a mobile app. This is very important in our mobile age, where we like to spend way more time on a mobile device than on a computer. So let's start with that. This is the main interface of the phone app. And as you can see, it has several entries with different functions, which are quite self-explanatory. There's even a camera option, allowing you to take a picture on the spot and then engrave it. The graffiti feature lets you draw whatever you want. For now, let's choose text and walk through the entire process to see how it works. Here, you can input the text of your choice, select the font, style, or alignment. Then proceed to the next stop, choose the material you plan to engrave, and the app will automatically provide parameters like power and depth. After previewing, adjust the position to engrave the specific part you want. And then press start processing. That's it. The app is intuitive with basically zero learning curve. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is the laser focusing. Like many others, the GWIC G2 utilizes two red dots for focusing. The G2 offers two types of focusing mechanisms. One, the manual lift, where you can see a rotor knob for adjusting the focus. The one I'm reviewing comes with the electric lifting stand, featuring two arrows on the side. You can press them to raise or lower the laser head aligning the red dots and completing the focusing process. Both methods work well, so you can choose the one that suits your preference. 
The electric option comes with a slightly high cost, but the manual method is also effective. However, if you consider yourself a lazy engraving enthusiast and desire more control over various parameters, then you can explore the computer app. The package includes a USB drive containing all the installation files, and the best part is it's free of charge. As I mentioned earlier, the interface looks familiar, right? To initiate basic tasks such as vector graphics, text, or picture engraving, you can refer to the manual, which in my opinion is the most detailed I've ever come across. Simply follow the instructions, make slight adjustments to the parameters, leave the rest as default, and you'll easily achieve your desired results. In fact, even for more intricate engraving tasks like deep engraving or curl engraving, the process is not overly complicated. For these specific techniques, the GVIC G2 has provided detailed tutorials, which you can also find on the YouTube channel. In this video, I'll dive into these details as well. Why? Because not many lazy engravers I've reviewed in the past are capable of achieving these effects. To be honest, I really appreciate and enjoy these two types of engraving, and it's always worth mentioning. Let's take text deep engraving as an example. Start by typing the text and drawing a box around it. Head to the hatch settings, where you can essentially leave every setting as default, such as the bidirectional hatch type and line distance. You'll notice the box turns black. For speed and power, typically choosing 1000 mm per second and 80% is sufficient. Keep the other settings unchanged. Finally, set the total marking times. The number depends on the material. Use red F1 for previewing the engraving and mark F2 to start the engraving. For middle engraving, after completing the marking, lower the part to around 30% to achieve a gloss finish. It's quite a straightforward process, isn't it? Achieving an embossed effect engraving is not complicated, and I'm confident you appreciate this feature. Now, when it comes to color engraving on stainless steel, as you can see, the mark parameters are all preset, so no adjustments are needed. The only potential issue is that the final color may not appear as vibrant or saturated as it does on the software. As color engraving is influenced by various factors, including the status of the stainless steel plate. Nevertheless, here's what I tried, and it doesn't look too bad, right? Speaking of engraving results, let's dive into that. Because after numerous lazy engraver reviews, I'm still amazed at how exceptionally well this machine performs. Take a look at the engravings I tried on a wide range of materials. This thing is a beast. The deeper engraving is precisely what I was hoping for, providing a fresh and unique look. This 20 watts fiber laser handles various metals such as stainless steel, brass, and aluminum with ease. It also performs admirably on plastics and leathers. Notice how it handles super small text. It's truly remarkable. The picture engravings are crystal clear and precise, with smooth edges and intricate details preserved. The GWG G2 supports super high resolution engraving. In my test, I used my daughter's picture with the different resolutions 800, 500, and 300 dpi. You can see that the higher the dpi, the higher the resolution, and the more detail is captured. As I mentioned, the level of detail is exceptional, and I really appreciate it. Even for deep engraving on this brass plate I tested, you can see every detail of the dragon. Those hairs, marvelous. I must highlight a couple of additional features. Firstly, it's remarkable capability to engrave small objects, such as a ring. The chuck rotary is quite interesting. It allows for easy clamping of rings enabling me to engrave both outer and inner surfaces. Additionally, the roller rotary proves handy for engraving different diameter cylindrical objects. Take a look at the results. See how evenly they are engraved. Check them out. Another noteworthy feature is the batch engraving. By fixing a positioning tab on the workbench, we can efficiently engrave items like business cards one after another with ease. It's a simple and effective task. 
Most importantly, I have to mention the engraving speed. The maximum speed of 15,000 mm per second is no joke. Here, I've shown you real-time engraving with no speed up editing. It's so fast that it completes the job before I even realize it. With this speed, you won't have to wait long for intricate engravings. It finishes in seconds. It's one of the fastest laser engravers I've ever reviewed. While embossed effect engraving might take a little bit longer, it's a unique feature not found in most consumer laser engravers. All right, that's essentially what you can do with the GWIC G2. Now, let's dive into my conclusion. First, the cons. Well, to be honest, I'm very positive about this product, but if I have to need to pick one thing, then I would say the handheld engraving is a little bit too heavy for pre-land use. However, it's crucial to understand that this is a 20 watt laser engraver, and other competitors in the same category don't even come with this feature. The handheld engraving is a bonus for the GWIC G2. And during my tests, maybe 95% of the engravings can be comfortably done on a desk. Let's not forget that we can also adjust the laser head angle to allow for engraving at an angle. Like I said, it's a minor drawback if you have to ask, but for this, I really like it. The GWIC G2 laser engraver is incredibly powerful and fast. It achieves deep engraving that smaller power fiber laser engravers cannot even think of. And the speed is extraordinary. On the software side, it offers an intuitive app accessible to everyone for free. Well, at the present, it may not be compatible with the Lightburn. The great news is that the official GWIC has confirmed that it will support Lightburn in the future. In the meantime, the free software that comes in the package is already good enough to handle daily tasks. The engraving quality is outstanding, producing some of the most refined engravings I've seen. The color engravings, batch engraving capabilities, rotary engraving, all at a usability for a wider range of users. In summary, the GWIC G2 is a robust and impressive laser engraver outperforming many others in its class. The best part is its price. Normally, for a 20 watt fiber laser, it costs around 3,000 US dollars. But now, it's available at only half the price. Plus, if you order now, you can get a free protective shield making the GWIC G2 a no-brainer for everyone looking for top-notch work on metals, plastics, leathers, and more. And if you are interested in this GWIC G2, be sure to check out the link in the description. I'm Sammy, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.